All right, so let's do the do now. So on the do now, we're gonna do, I'm gonna try to do both of them. So I'm gonna do elimination on this side. And then I'm gonna do substitution on this side. Okay, so to do elimination, this is the one that I showed in class. I decided to cancel out my y's. So I'm just gonna rewrite the problem. Now to cancel out my y's, I need to find greatest common factor between these two numbers, and that would be a 12. So the way I make this one a 12, it'll be by multiplying the whole thing by 3. And the way I make this one a 12 is multiplying everything by 2. Okay, then I end up with 6x minus 12y equals 6. On the bottom one, I end up with 6x plus 12y equals 2. Now we're going to cancel those out. I'm left with 12x equals 8 divided by 12 divided by 12. And I end up with x equals 2 over 3. I have my x value and now I have to solve for my y value. So you go back to your main equations and you think back and say, okay, where, where can I plug this in? I can plug it in the first one or the second one. Now I'm going to pick the second one because I know that if I plug it in here, the threes are going to cancel. So 3 times 2 over 3 plus 6y equals 1. If I multiply that out, the threes cancel. I'm left with 2 plus 6y equals 1. Keep solving for y minus 2 minus 2, 6y equals negative 1, divided by 6, divided by 6, and y equals negative 1 over 6. All right, now I'm going to do it oh. with substitution. So I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick the first equation. You can pick whichever you want, but the first one looks nicer because I noticed that all of these are factors, that all of these have a factor of 2. So if I think about it and I say, okay, if I were to divide every single piece here by 2, this one will stay as a 1x, that one will stay as a negative 2y equals 1. I could use that, but I'm just going to stick using with the same first one. But because if I were to divide by 2, this one would end up with a coefficient of 1. I'm going to try to solve for x. So solving for x would be plus 4y plus 4y. And I left with 2x equals 2 plus 4y divided by 2 divided by 2. x equals 2 divided by 2 is 1 plus 4 divided by 2 is 2. And you still have that y. Now let me substitute it back into the other equation. So this is the one I used. I got to plug it into the other one. So that's 3 times 1 plus 2y plus 6y equals 1. Distribute the 3. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 3 times 2y is 6y, plus 6y equals 1. Combine like terms, 3 plus 12y equals 1, minus 3, minus 3, 12y equals negative 2, divided by 12, divided by 12, and y equals negative 1 over 6. So same thing as this one. It worked. All right, now I want to figure out what x is, so I'm going to go back here, since it's already solved for x, and I'm just going to plug in my y. So x equals 1 plus 2 times negative 1 over 6. I have 1 plus 2 times a negative 1 over 6, you get a negative 2 over 6. So it's 1 minus 2 over 6. All right, now this is the same thing as 1 over 1. Remember, when you're adding or subtracting fractions, you do need a common denominator. That's times 6, times 6. I have a 6 over 6 minus 2 over 6. That equals 4 over 6, which equals 2 thirds. So x equals 2 thirds. All right, there you go. I showed you both ways as to how to solve them. You have elimination and substitution. All right, let's keep going. So this one I did tell you to fix a little mistake here. 
So I'm just going to rewrite it here. You had 2x minus y equals negative 4. 3x plus y equals 9. Substitution, I have to solve for one of them. In this case, I want to solve for y either here or here because they have a coefficient of 1. So it'll be nice. So I'm going to pick the first one. So 2x minus y equals negative 4. Solving for y minus 2x minus 2x. Negative y equals, remember these are not like terms, you can't combine them, so just write them again. Divided by a negative 1, divided by a negative 1, I'm going to put y equals, that will become a positive 4, this will become a positive 2x, and I'm left with y equals 4 plus 2x. Alright, so I solved for it on this equation, now I have to plug it back into this equation. Boom, 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 boom. It will get a little higher. Okay, so I'm going to plug it into the second equation. 3x plus 4 plus 2x equals 9. Because I'm adding, I'm just going to drop the parentheses. Be careful with multiplication. It's not right next to it. It has a plus there. So just drop the parentheses. Combine like terms. 5x plus 4 equals 9. Minus 4, minus 4, 5x, sorry, that was a 4. 9 minus 4 is 5, divided by 5 on both sides, and x equals to 1. All right, now I'm going to plug it into either one of my equations. I'm going to pick the first one. 2 times 1 minus y equals negative 4. So 2 minus y equals negative 4. So for y, minus 2, minus 2. Negative y equals negative 6, divided by negative 1, divided by negative 1, y equals 6. All right, elimination. 2x minus y equals negative 4, 3x plus y equals 9. And we have, here is a kind of already set up for us, because these just cancel out. 5x equals 5 divided by 5, divided by 5, x equals 1, do the same thing as this, and you get y equals 6. All right, let's keep going. Next worksheet, second part. In this case, I can pick whatever I want. I do prefer elimination, so I'm going to go with elimination in this case. I want to cancel out my y's. It just looks nicer because I'm going to only have to multiply this one times a 3. All right, so the top one stays the same. The second one multiplied by a 3. 3 times 4x gives me 12x. 3 plus y, 3 times y, sorry, it's 3y equals 3 times 24, 12, carry 1, 72. <coughs> Those cancel. 12x plus 2x gives me 14x equals a 70 divided by 14. Divided by 14. <coughs> okay. And x equals, so 70 divided by 14, x equals 5. So I have my x value to be 5. All right, now I do have to find my y, so I'm going to pick whichever equation I want. So I'm going to go with the first one. 2, substitute in the 5, minus 3y equals negative 2. Get 10 minus 3y negative 2, solve for y, minus 10, minus 10, negative 3y equals negative 12, divided by negative 3, divided by negative 3, y equals 4. Awesome. Next one. Next one, um, I noticed that if I multiply that one times a 3, that one might cancel out. So let's do that. Let's multiply by a 3. 3 times 7x gives me 21x. Plus 3 times 2y gives me 6y. So, uh, equals 3 times 16. Uh, 18, 148. And then the next one, I'm just going to write it down. Notice how if I were to add this down, this will cancel and this will cancel. When all the variables cancel out, there is no solution. Okay, let's keep going. I'm assuming that you have read this question since you have it. And 
And so I'm just going to go over the solution. So they do say that they want both of them to be the same. And we're solving for x. So if we want both of them to be the same, we're just going to equal them to each other. So a little different than what we've been doing. Plus 0.025x. And we're just going to solve for x. Okay, so different things you can do first. I'm going to subtract the 185 from both sides. Okay, so I'm also going to kind of just do it at the same time right now. I'm going to deal with this one. So I'm going to subtract maybe this one from the other side. So minus 0.025x. Okay, and then these ones will cancel. And those don't cancel. I don't know why I crossed that out. Sorry. My apologies. That one becomes 90. And then here becomes 0.005x divided by 0 0.005 divided by 0 0.005x equals $18,000. Okay. Next one. Looking at all these choices, you have to think back as to what is it that they solved for. So in this one, for example, they solved for y because they substituted this into here. So they solved for y on this case. So I'm just going to do that and see if it actually works out. So I have 2x minus y equals 5. Let me solve for y minus 2x minus 2x. Again, negative y equals 5 minus 2x divided by negative 1 divided by negative 1. y equals 5 divided by negative 1 gives me a negative 5. Negative 2x divided by negative 1 gives me a positive 2x. So if I look here, they put in a 2x minus 5, which is the same thing as that. 2x minus 5. That's still positive. That's still negative. Positive, negative. All right. So it looks like that one is the answer. All right. Now the last one. Um, so, so it can look like something we've been dealing with, something like the one above. You see how all the x's are on the same line and all the y's are on the same line. Maybe we can do the same thing in this one. We can have all the a's on one side and all the b's on one side. So the first equation looks pretty nice. Now we have to deal with the second equation. The a is already on this side. Maybe let's try to bring that b to that side. So I'm just going to do some side work here. To get that portion to this side, I have to subtract 1 half b from both sides. So then I have a minus 1 half b equals a negative 6. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to use elimination again. I want to eliminate a. It looks easier than eliminating that. So I want this one to be a negative 2. So I'm going to multiply by negative 2. So the top equation stays the same. Negative 2 times a, that gives negative 2a. Negative 2 times a negative 1 half b. Thankfully, that changes to a positive 1b. Negative 2 times a negative 6 gives me a positive 12. These eliminate. Half 4b equals 24 divided by 4 divided by 4. b equals 6. All right. So b equals 6, so it definitely cannot be this one or this one. It has to be that one or that one. So now lastly, let's plug this one back in into whichever you want. I'm going to choose to do this one. So I have 2a plus 3 times 6 equals 12. That's 2a plus 18 equals 12 minus 18 minus 18. I get 2a equals negative 6 divided by 2 divided by 2 and a equals negative 3. So that's my answer, choice three. So this one should be pretty simple. Your solution is always the intersection point. So all I have to do is look at this point and see, count them, one, two, three, four. And I went up two, so that point right here is four comma two. So my solution is four comma two. Same thing in this one. This is the intersection point. I'm going over to negative one, and then I'm going down two spaces. So this point is a negative one comma negative two. So that's answer choice 